Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again. Today I would like to show about how to read data from encoder using PLC Omron and uh, software CH programmer. Yes. So uh, first I would like to introduce some uh, part that we will test and simulation. Yes, this is the encoder, rotary encoder, or we can call uh, increasmental encoder. Yes, and uh, here is the button reset. Yes, for reset the counter. If we want to reset to zero, we can push this button. Then the value will uh, come back to zero. And uh, this is the PLC Omron model CP1E. Yes, CP1E. And uh, I already connected the cable from encoder to uh, input. Normally, we use two input for increase and decrease the value of uh, encoder and uh, one input for reset yes so let's start to the our software so first go to ch programmer yes and then uh, we can ch choose the new project I can say the encoder, Omron encoder. Okay, and uh, I will choose the CPU type, CP1E, right? Yes. CP1E, then uh, E20, right? So, I will choose the E20 and uh, connecting via USB port. Okay. So, choose OK. CP1E or oh, the name is so long. I will re revise. It's not like its name, but choose another. Okay. Can choose encoder. Okay. So, uh, second, we can check the communication between our computer and PLC Omron. Right now, I already connected the cable from my computer to. Omron PLC. So let's check communication. Yes. Now we can connect it from uh, our computer to PLC. And the PLC is stopped right now. So we can offline first. For read the value from the encoder. Uh, we have one function we call POV. Yes, so we can go to the logic. So I will choose the POV. Yes, and go to the instruction here. Yes, I would like to explain some part that we will use for instruction before read the data from encoder so uh, this is the function p it means that the port specifier c it means that control data and d it means that the first destination word okay
yes so we can choose the this uh, function POV and then go to the port number it means that we can uh, read from port number for example I choose high speed counter number 0 and uh, I will choose port number 10 okay so this is a port number so uh, 10 then uh, this is the counter number 0 and this is the memory that we will uh, move or read the data from encoder so I choose the 100 this memory uh, we can choose another memory it's up to us so I click OK then uh, we will uh, supply the power to the block so normally uh, we use the all way on so I choose the P on okay P on port number 10 then uh, counter number 0 and read by memory 100 ok and uh, the third step we can go to the setting to uh, setting the encoder part and encoder number so right now I choose counter number 0 yes and uh, I choose the Sikola mode I set uh, for example 1000 ok and reset mode I will choose the software reset because I already connected from button to I number 0 for reset and uh, for input type or input setting I will choose the up down input ok so uh, let's start communication again and download the setting to PLC ok so let's go to uh, transfer to PLC it means that we can transfer the setting from uh, our software to PLC. So click yes to download. Okay, already download and we transfer the logic again to PLC and setting also. Okay, the PLC will stop. Yes and uh, on again so let's run the CPU okay right now the CPU is running but uh, please remember if we want to change something inside the, the PLC we must reboot the power okay so I will turn off the power first and on again Otherwise, the setting is not uh, changed if we not uh, turn off the power. Okay. So let online and check again. Okay. So right now the PLC is running, and uh, I will increase the encoder for test okay so let me increase okay the value is changed yes and uh, the input is on off on off right yes 
if I want to uh, reset the value to zero, I just press this button. Yes, it will move data value to zero. Okay. So let me change the program a little bit because we use the software for reset. So for example, I uh, use the i0.0 for reset the counter and the function re reset is uh, a531 dot zero is the function reset okay so let me uh, download again transfer to PLC right transfer to PLC yes and then click OK okay and run the CPU again yes so let me increase and decrease the value again because we already revised our program yes uh, I will increase the value yeah the value is changed because I uh, already adjust yes if I would like to reset this counter to zero, I just press this button. Yes, the value is reset to zero. You see? So, this is a concept of uh, how to read the value from encoder using uh, the software CH programmer and PLC Omron. CP1E, yes. So in the next video, I will uh, create some function for test. No, example the value compare the value that read from encoder to uh, control the output or relay or some electrical device. Yes. So uh, thank you very much for watching my video and uh, please like, comment and subscribe my video too. Uh, if uh, everyone have any questions, please comment under my video. I will uh, reply you soon. Okay. So thank you very much again and uh, goodbye. See you uh, next video.